Can you hear me? Someone lock me in a garage. If you can hear me, I need your help. Please. Hello. Hello. Please. Can you hear me, please? Please. Superb. What a strong attachment to life. But it's not over yet. Who are you? What do you want from me? Nothing. Why am I locked in this fucking place? When the time comes, you'll have no trouble understanding. Stop playing with me. Let me out! Listen to me carefully, Elena. No one can get you out of there. Not even me. What do you mean? Only you can do it. How? What do I have to do? The shutters and the aeration system will click on once the space is completely saturated with gas. It's composed of 1,000 parts per million of carbon monoxide. Breathing it for 90 minutes inevitably leads to death. 12 minutes have gone by since it started spreading through the air. Meaning you have 78 left. Is that clear? 78 minutes. Oh. I get it. You are one of Mike's men. He paid you to set this up, right? Didn't he? In a short while, your head will ache, followed by nausea and dizziness. Your pulse will speed up at an increasing rate. You'll have trouble concentrating, thinking, and then... Enough of this shit! I want to get out of here, right now! There is one more thing you need to know. What? Dog! Salvation is in the car. What? Salvation is in the car. No, no, no. Don't hang up. Don't hang up, please. Shit! Shit. Bless me, Mike. <coughs> I'm his woman. Don't you recognize me? I'm Elena. What number are you calling from? <coughs> Is it safe? I don't know. Bless me, Mike. I need him. It's very important. I can't. Call back later. <coughs> it's important, Fabio. Please. And it's me. How come you're not calling over your own phone? Oh, oh I can't. The battery's dead. Is everything all right? <coughs> yes, everything goes it's all right. So you're already traveling? Yes. Uh, uh, Vanessa is okay? She's fine. She's watching one of her cartoons. Want to talk to her? No, 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 no. It's okay. Okay. You be careful. Okay. Bye.
God. For a minute, I thought you were serious. You really did it up in style. Like... <laughs> okay, now open and let me out. I really need some fresh air. You installed cameras, didn't you? Oh. Are you getting your kicks watching me? Why? I'll get out of here. I promise you, honey, I'll get out of here. I promise you. I promise you, honey, I promise you. I need help. What's the problem? I'm locked in the garage. The door lock got jammed? No, someone locked me inside. Someone you know or a stranger? No, I don't know. We'll get you a rescue patrol. The address, please. Oh, God. I don't know who. I don't know why. And I don't even know where. Ma'am, please. Unless you provide more information, I can't help you. I woke up inside the car. The motor was running. I turned it off, but the smoke is still coming out. Hold the line. I'll connect you to the police department. No, 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 please don't hang up. Sergeant Miles, Central Division. You gotta get me out of here. Right away. There is no time. Ma'am, please try to stay calm and tell me what's going on. I just explained it to your colleague. All right. Repeat it to me, please. I woke up inside the car with my hands and feet tied in this fucking place I've never seen before. Can you describe it? Oh, my God. It's a garage. There are two cars and one is spewing carbon monoxide and there is no way to turn it off and there is no way to get out of here. I'm trapped. How long have you been in there? Oh, I can't really say. After I woke up, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. Where is this garage? Are you kidding? I don't know. Do you have any idea who might have brought you there? No, no idea. But you can trace this car, right? It's not that simple, ma'am. We, we need a warrant. Otherwise, the phone company can't give out sensitive information. Then, what are you waiting for? Get the warrant! All right. But meanwhile, I'll need your name, ma'am. Elena, Elena Radic. Tell me what you remember, Elena. You said you woke up there. <sighs> yes, that's right. And before that, where were you? I was home, alone. I was packing a suitcase. And then I'm, I don't remember anything. It's, it's all like a big blank in my mind. So, someone must have broken into your house. Oh, great thinking, Sherlock. You said you were packing a suitcase, so obviously you were going somewhere. Yes, on short vacation. Were you leaving on your own? No, with my daughter. Your daughter? Is your daughter there with you now? Oh, no, thank God not. Oh, my God. 
The cell you're using for this call, is it yours? Yeah, the phone is mine, but the SIM card isn't. Someone changed it. All apps were cancelled. I, I can only make or receive calls. Have they gotten in touch with you? Yes. Was it a man or a woman? A man. Did he make some demands? I don't know, like money in exchange for your freedom. No, he didn't ask for anything. He, he just said that only I can find, find a way out of here. Any idea what that could mean? No, there is no way out of here. Did a number appear when he called? No, no number. That's strange. What? Whoever locked you in there took the trouble of making sure you'd find the cell phone, all right? But then he doesn't ask you for anything. He also said... He also said that I have less than 78 minutes to get out of here. Then the carbon monoxide will kill. Elena, Elena, we'll get you out in time. Trust me, don't lose hope. Meanwhile, I'll send you an SMS from my phone, and from this moment on, I'll use it to get in touch with you. Is that clear? Okay. Please, just trace the call. Everything will be all right, Anna. Just trace the number, please. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. Okay.
anyone listening? It's not a good idea. Then give me a better one, because this is the only one that comes to mind. The carbon monoxide in the air will increase, and you will have less time to save yourself. Fuck you! Elena, can you hear me? Are you all right? Yes. I've got good news. I've just contacted the judge. In a few minutes, we'll get the authorization I need to trace your cell. Good. Hurry up. Believe me, we're on it. And thorough. Speaking of which, I ran a check on your identity. If you really are the person you say you are, and, well, it came up with a few interesting tidbits. Oh, congratulations. You discovered my past. Yeah, a busy past. A stormy past, I'd say. The past. His past. Grand Theft Auto. Trafficking in stolen goods. Possession of illegal weapons. But now I pay my taxes. I only cross at the green non in between. I'm a model citizen. Yeah, so it seems. So it seems. I already paid my dues. Yeah, that you did. Four years at Linwood. Must have been tough going with a young son. Stefano, right? Oh, please. Don't go there. Don't talk about my son. Let's talk about your husband, then. It appears that you're still together. Really tight with Mike Parisi, or is that ancient history, too? Is it a crime to love someone? You know, that depends. If you're someone's a big-time criminal, then it's called aiding and abetting, and yes, that is a crime. Oh, God, this time-wasting bullshit. Oh. No, Elena, wait. Look, I'm only trying to figure out who might have had a reason for harm. You should ask. I don't have enemies. And what about Mike? He's got plenty. A turf war, some rival turning the screws. But, you know, maybe it was you. Maybe you stepped on Mike's toes, and now... He's punishing you. Good imagination, detective. But you're wrong. Everything with Mike is perfect. Smooth as silk. Knowing a bit more about your husband's activities could help me figure out what's happening to you, Elena. <sighs> Hurry up, please. All right. Meanwhile, you think about what I just said. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay.
are. Oh, there's been a hitch. It's still gonna take me a while. What? What's going on? I can talk now. It's not safe. Mike? Did Mike catch on? No, no. He doesn't suspect anything. Relax. Are you sure? Yes. The plan still holds. Don't change anything. Just be ready. But are you all right? Yes. You want to talk to Vanessa? No, better not. Let her be. Okay. She's so excited about the trip. You wouldn't believe it. Hey, you want me? You want me to call her? No, no. Look, I'm I'm, I'm sorry, but I really have to go. Okay. You be careful. Yes, I will. I will. Bye. Pass me, Mike. I can't. Please, Fabio, it's important. He's not here. He went out. Where did he go? I don't know. When he's pissed off, he's like a pit bull. Better not ask questions. Was it for this morning's delivery? Fuck's sake, Elena! Your number isn't safe. Don't ask me anything else. Okay, okay, okay. Just one last thing. Did he ask about Vanessa? Yeah, yeah, he's worried about the girl. If he gets in touch, I'll tell him you called. Goodbye. Okay. Okay. You still don't understand. Your man is not the one responsible for what's happening to you. If you don't work for Mike, then who are you working for? Why should I be working for someone? Otherwise, all this doesn't make any sense. Oh, yes, it would. Everything we do has a reason. You can remove it. You can deny it. But in the end, it all becomes clear. Especially those choices that we cannot change. What choices? Why are you doing this to me? Because you wanted it. I've been watching you for some time now. I've gotten to know you inside and out. Your man was supposed to receive a delivery today. Five hundred thousand dollars of cocaine. The meeting was set for this morning at nine o'clock in the warehouse that your man uses as cover. The money was in the safe. Last night, someone snuck in and stole it. You need more? You want to punish me? Because you think that was me? Who are you? Some sort of fucking avenger? You're way off track. Calm down, Eleanor. Listen. No. Now you listen to me. Let's say the money in question, five hundred thousand dollars, was taken by me. I'll make you an offer. You let me out of here, and I'll tell you where I hid it. 
If I'd wanted your money, I would have taken it like that. I don't get you. Look in the hood of the small car. Then you'll understand. Money's not your best friend right now. Why are you doing this to me? Tell me. I have a right to know.
still save yourself. But when it stops, you'll have no more than five minutes to come out alive. Keep your ears open and remember, salvation is in the car. Some time later, God tasted Abram. He said to him, Abram, here I am, he replied. Then the God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriach. Yes. Elena, are you all right? Yeah. Look, the judge signed the warrant. The time it takes to serve it to the phone company, and in a few minutes, we'll start the search. Unfortunately, the cell number is registered to some old guy living in a retirement home. The localization won't give us a precise spot, but only a general broad area, so it would be important if you could give us a clue to help us sort of single out your position. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Wait a minute. A while ago, you said there were two cars. Yes. Volvo station wagon and an old Civic. Do they... Have you noticed if they have license plates? No, but, but I can check. Go ahead. Do it. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah. No blades on Volvo. Check the other car. Yes. Nothing here either. God. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I found the number. 254-BEH, <coughs> California. Great. Great. That could lead us to something. Okay. Do you remember what happened? Oh, 
Who brought you here? I'm scared. I'm here with you. You are not alone. I'm here. Everything is fine. And we'll get out of here. Okay? Stay down. Stay down. Come with me. Come with me, honey. Come with me. You'll better stay inside. Tell me, Rita. Mike called. He called my private cell number. What did he want? He asked about you. He, he wanted to know if you were here with me. And then he asked about Vanessa. Look, I told him I haven't seen you in a couple of days. And what did he say? Nothing. You know him. Click. No manners. Rita, you need to go away from there. You think he discovered something? I don't know, but you need to go away from there. What do we do? You'd rather meet at the airport? Rita, I have no time to explain now. Just take Vanessa away from there. Now you better tell me what the hell is going on here. Listen to me, Rita. Listen to me. There's a house in Denver. Mike doesn't know about it. Just go there with Vanessa and wait. Wait for me to reach you. There is some money in the attic inside Vanessa's school bag. There is an envelope with the address and the keys. When will you be coming? As soon as possible. As soon as possible. Ma, hurry up. We're waiting for you. Rita, move. Go now, move it. Do you like animals? One, maybe two years at the most. You instead have a life and a daughter who's waiting for you. Oh, I'm not gonna kill a boy to save myself. Not even if he's sick. You'd only be doing him a favor, sparing him endless days of pain. He's already condemned. Can you understand that? So get your courage up. No, I don't believe a single word. You are inventing the whole thing. Behind the passenger seat. <gasps> you faked it. Thomas needs two of those pills each and every day, and today he's already behind schedule. And if I don't give him one? Well, he would suffer, but those pills won't save his life, so the choice is really simple. Your life or his. I'm giving you a chance. No. No, you are killing me. You are sick.
are you doing? Setting him free. He has to stay in his cage. If you find this, please give it to my daughter Vanessa. I hope, pray that one day she will see. Hi, sweetie. A big, big, big hug from your mommy. How are you? It's good to talk to you, even like this. No matter how close or how far I'm with you. Because you are the best thing that I ever had in my life. Just watching you grow day by day. Show me the difference between right and wrong. Sounds easy, but that really isn't. But you, darling, you always made things better for me. Like sunshine and hugging you wasn't enough. I really miss you. Okay. Vanessa, now it's time to be strong. Listen to Auntie Rita and do what she tells you. She'll take good care of you. And you'll take good care of her. You'll be happy together. But you remember. Never, ever forget. I love you. I love you.
I hope you have good news. Not yet, but we're getting there. Look, there's something that showed up on our records. An attempted suicide two years ago. It seems you were saved at the last minute by your sister Rita. You think I'm trying again? No, no. I wasn't trying to insinuate that. But it gave me a possible lead, and I did a little digging. A colleague is working on a few suspicious cases, and talking it over with him, I discovered a few details strangely similar to your situation. Three, to be exact. My colleague is convinced that in those cases the suicide victim had been forced to take his life or had gotten into a situation from which it was impossible to save himself. And each time, the persons involved had managed to contact the police and describe what was happening to them. And were they saved? Tell me the truth! By the time we arrived, it was too late. So, what are my chances? You're gonna make it. This time, we'll get there in time. Cut the bullshit! Don't lie to me, detective! Calm down. Calm down, Elena. I'm doing everything to help you. Believe me. <laughs> Near the bodies. Did you find a video camera? No, in the reports there was never anything about a video camera. Otherwise, you won't be living much longer. You're a murderer. Wrong. You wanted to die. No. I want to live. Are you really sure? Yes. Yes. I want to live. How do I have to tell you? Once? It wasn't like that, was it? And if someone hadn't interfered with your plans, you'd be dead. Oh, my God. That was a mistake. Stefano had just died. Killed like a dog instead of his father. He was only eight years old, completely innocent. And I saw it coming. Yes, I knew that sooner or later, something bad would happen. And I did nothing, nothing. What mother can live with that? I gave you a second chance. I give it to everyone who has tried and failed to kill himself. No, no man has the right to do that. But if you want to play God, let me out. I want to leave. I can't do anything. You have to be the one to decide. You have an opportunity to save yourself. Thomas's life for yours. Sorry about you.
younger than you. She's still... You don't know me. Elena, how are you feeling? Don't talk. Just listen, please. There is something you have to do for me. Sure. Just tell me. What? You have to help my daughter, Vanessa. She is with my sister, Rita. I don't want a mic to find them. I want a different life for her. Then we both want the same thing. Getting her away from Mike is the only way of making sure she grows up in a healthy environment. But then, you have to help me, too. Oh. Give me something solid to incriminate him. This way, I'll get him out of circulation for the next 20 years, and your daughter can grow up happy in another city with a new identity and everything. No. You can't ask me this. I know it's not easy, but it's for a good cause. Mike is dirt. Dirt. He's a criminal, and you know it. Help me, and your daughter will have a future. <sighs> There is a warehouse in Pasadena. Ulysses in Parexport. But it's only a cover. Inside there is a caulking lab and everything you need to nail him. And that's exactly what I will do. I'm only doing this for my daughter. Where is she now? With my sister. Heading to Denver. How can I reach her? Her number is 510-986. Four, two, five, three. Got it. 
You made a promise. Make sure you keep it. You bet I will. I'll take care of it personally. Ellen, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could have done more. Never mind. Now you worry about saving Vanessa. Oh, oh, oh. I left a message. Recorded on a video camera here in a car. If you find it, make sure it reaches my sister. All right. Yes, of course. Okay. Now the battery is fading. I have to hang up. Honey, we're in the car. Oh, good. Look, honey. A cop will be contacting you. A cop? Yes, we made an agreement. He'll make sure Vanessa is protected. How come you're not coming in the meantime? I won't make it in time. What's going on? Mike's not letting you leave? No, no, no. He's got nothing to do with it. Rita, I love you, honey. You are the best sister in the world. Why? Why are you saying that? Now, please pass me Vanessa, okay? Mama? Hi, sweetie. Where are you? How come Vanessa, you're not coming? Now you have to do everything your auntie Rita tells you. When are you coming? You are a strong girl. Ma? I know you'll be fine. I want to find a plane with you and go swimming. someone inside. I didn't hear shit. No, I'm nothing. Like, there's someone inside asking for help. Turn off the car. Mike. Open up. Mike. Open this fucking door or I'll knock it down. 
Mike. It's me, Eleanor. 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 You did, didn't do this, did you? This what? What are you talking about? How did you get here? Someone ripped off the money of delivery. Back holding the money. I slipped off a GPS. I didn't trust the sessions. I got... I'm dying. What do you say? Someone wants to kill me. Kill you? Who? I don't know. I don't... Okay. I'll get you up there. Mike! The, the money! I took it. Why? For peace. She can't live with you. What are you talking about? She's my daughter. Promise me you stay away. My sister will take care of her. We take care of her together. The way we always have. How do we get in? There ain't no locks. It works electronically and in from the inside. Fuck. We don't have to. I got a crowbar. Maybe we can jimmy it open. Okay, okay, do it. Hurry up! You can take the mask off now. It's not dangerous anymore. You're courageous. I'm so very proud. Pa, this time I was really scared. I know, son. Next time it'll be better. You always say that. I don't want to do that anymore. Don't you understand? This is the duty we've been assigned. Otherwise, your sickness wouldn't make any sense. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> 